Chinese e-commerce retail giant Shein has divided opinion in South Africa after opening its first physical store. Not only has it lured in bargain hunters, but it spurred a tax change after rivals said the competition was unfair. Having opened in Johannesburg a month ago, it has attracted reams of customers like Michelle Naidu, who are eager for clothes and accessories, which often cost less than $10. First kind of initial expectation from Sheen was that it was not up to what my standard of good quality would be. First kind of initial expectation from Sheen was that it was not up to what my standard of good quality would be. So I think when I started noticing that, hey, actually this is like every other piece of clothing in my cupboard, um, I was like, okay, maybe I should just rethink this and then give it a try. But prices of Shein's online-only goods are expected to rise in South Africa. That's after the country's tax authority increased levies to protect local retailers. Since Monday, people importing low-value parcels have been required to pay value-added tax of 15%. Sheehan's critics said this move will help level the playing field. And while some shoppers are saying why not to Sheehan's bargain offers, advocates for sustainable fashion like writer Afika Yardisveni encouraged shoppers to question such cheap prices. When things are produced locally, they cost more because um, I think people are trying to do right in terms of labor laws and to give people a decent quality of life, which is not so much the case with people uh, with the suppliers who supply for the likes of Sheen. Um, there's still a big conversation there about the ethics around exploitation and just the churning culture that's happening there. So I think as a consumer, you also have to think to yourself, do I really need the sweater in three different colors? 